أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله. The sacred call to prayer. The Muslims call theirs Adhan and recite it five times a day. Blaring from speakers atop mosques as early as four o'clock in the morning, this age-old practice could soon change. Israeli ministers are debating a bill to have speakers removed from mosques. The lawmaker who drafted the bill says it's not singling out Muslims, but rather going after noise pollution. We respect the freedom of religion, the freedom of thinking, the freedom of, of staying in the place we want to stay, but at the same time, we need to respect the people who want to sleep at four o'clock in the morning, and particularly when we are talking about families and mothers, young mothers, children, kids, small kids, the noise pollution can be the effect that disturbs them. So the, the pro, the, we try to ask them to close their loudspeakers and use other systems. Anastasia Michaeli is a legislator from the nationalist Yisrael Beitenu party. She says she has received widespread support for her bill. Many cities in Israel have mixed Arab and Jewish populations, and tolerating the practices of the other side is not always pleasant. In Jerusalem's Gilo neighborhood, many residents strongly back the proposed legislation. I hear the call to prayer at night, and it bothers me and the kids. They've raised the idea about lowering the volume of the speakers, but nothing has ever been done. It continues. In Beit Safafa, the call to prayer is heard far and wide, and some say silencing it was religious discrimination. I do understand if the prayer is, uh, for example, it's annoying another people, but uh, for me it's not annoying me, you should understand. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a call for prayer. I think that uh, this is a wrong decision in this time. Because uh, this region, you know, between time to time goes in a, in a up and down uh, situation. And I think this decision will uh, accelerate the uh, violence and the misunderstanding between uh, the Israelis and the Arabs. So uh, I think that uh, they should uh, th rethink about this decision. Michaeli says that many town mayors, lawmakers, and ministers, including Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, support her legislation, but that it is caught up now in committee. Some officials, however, fear that it could agitate Muslims. Israel's President Shimon Peres has said he is ashamed of the bill. This is simply a march of folly. I'm personally ashamed there are attempts being made to pass such laws. Israel doesn't have to raise the ire of all the Muslims in the Arab world against us. The most important result for me is to get at four o'clock in the morning people to sleep and not to wake up because of different uh, people who would like to go to pray. This is the Muslim call to prayer, five times a day, starting as early as four o'clock in the morning. And this is what Anastasia Michaeli wants to try to lower. They don't have to remove the speakers, just lower the volume. Believe me, anyone who wants to come and pray will come without calling him on the speaker. From Jerusalem, this is Arye O'Sullivan reporting for the Media Line.